Welcome everybody to D League. This is Johnny Baez welcoming you into the D League zone, and we kick off things tonight with a handicap match. As error four zero one will have a handicap match here tonight, and here he comes in all his glory, also known as Hazard. But error four zero one ready to make his impact tonight. He is upset about his loss last week and has vowed to make an impact here tonight in the D-League zone. So we get ready as 401 will have a handicap match tonight against Los Doritos, some of the original D-League alum that are back here on the D-League zone. So welcome everybody in. This is Johnny Baez here on YouTube TV. That's right, YouTube TV right here tonight in San Antonio, Texas. We get ready now. Next weekend, we will have our first pay-per-view event of the year, Stardom. So this will be the go-home for that pay-per-view next week. And we get ready now as Air 401 is inside the ring. We get ready now for the alum known as Los Doritos. Some fan favorites here in Texas. Nacho Rodriguez and Dirty Sanchez. And they're coming out of here throwing them tortillas into the crowd as they always do. Los Doritos making their grand entrance here on the D-League zone. Everybody here fired up as always. These two fan favorites in the house tonight. Tag team handicap match tonight against Error 404. I'm not sure if these guys know what they're up for, but tonight they will try their best to defeat this big man here in the D-League zone. And we do have a big main event as El Wapo Chuck will take on Hood later on tonight in the main event. So exciting matches coming up here tonight. Cam Finley also will be in it, be in a match against Gangruff. And then Inferno has an open challenge to anybody in the back. And we'll see who who will answer the call here, but Los Doritos here having a party here in the D-League zone in, a, in San Antonio, Texas. And they're dancing along, but let's get ready for this big matchup here to start off D-League on YouTube TV. And it seems as though it'll be Nacho versus Air 404 to start this one. Shelly's here tonight, and she will start things off here in the D-League zone. So she had to backtrack from San, uh, excuse me, from Austin, Texas, back here to San Antonio to, to film the D League, and then she'll have to get on the road, and she'll have to get things going. As uh, pay per view will be this will be tomorrow night. As a matter of fact, tomorrow at one Eastern, we will have Money Heist live. From Dallas, Texas, Hector Hernandez and Chad Cattleman will be on the call. Chad is here tonight as well. No, Chad is not here tonight. I was thinking that maybe Pete the Body was in action, but he is not in action tonight. That'll be the second week in a row that he missed his action. Oh, look at the double team right there from those Doritos. And now Dirty Sanchez and Error 404 are the legal men here in this matchup. And... Air 404 seems a little bit upset. And, oh, look at this. Now going after Nacho. Cheap shot to Nacho right there. And now uh, Air 404 taking it to the dirty one known as Dirty Sanchez. And Dirty Sanchez is going to take a dip to the outside. But here goes Air 404. And a two-pace to a seat over the top. Didn't know the big man had the jumps like that. Might have to get him signed up for the D-League. We'll have to talk to the commish. See if we can get him on a squad. Excuse me, I didn't mean to say the D-League. We need to sign him up for the ISPN Basketball League is what I try to say. Oh, and Nacho Rodriguez with a dip to the outside and a senton there from Air 404. So Air 404 not wasting any time with the Doritos here tonight. Look at this now. Putting his hand. Oh, look at this doing a little dance right here. And Shelly telling him to quit dancing to get back in the ring right here. And there's a tag in right there from Nacho. I'm not sure how. Shelly saw it on a nice two-piece suicide on the outside. So Nacho now the legal man here in this matchup. 
And these two exchanging blows on the outside. Three count now. And Nacho Rodriguez and Arrow 404 going at it. Nice chop down right there. Looks like he chopped down the cherry tree in Nacho Rodriguez. And now these two exchanging blows on the outside. Nice DDT from Arrow 404. And now up to a six count. These guys have got to back, get back in the ring because Shelly will count you out. Seven count now for Arrow 404. And going to go up to an eight count for Nacho Rodriguez. And he continues his dance on the inside. Eight count now. Will we have a count out victory here? And now Shelly with a nine count. Nacho has got to hurry up. And her, trying to give him a chance here. Nacho gets it back in the ring right there. And on, the, on the other side, Dirty Sanchez gets uh, his back, his back uh, drop there on the hardest part of that ring. And now here comes Nacho Rodriguez on the outside again. And it's a setup right here from Air 44. 404 as he uh, takes him down a size here and now look at this the big blows to the body and now error 404 going back in the ring and Nacho Rodriguez following kind of trips him up springboard crossbody connects right there so Nacho oh and a big elbow right there from error 404 trying to open things up right here he almost won via the count out if Shelly wouldn't have warned Nacho to get back in the ring, but she's just doing what she does best and being one of the best officials in WFA. And now the cartwheels now from Nacho. I guess he's trying to he's trying to outdance uh, Era 404 here tonight. I guess he could have a dance off, but I mean, what would be the fun in that, right? And now look at Dirty Sanchez looking like he wants to jump off that apron, and Shelly. Kind of gives her the, kind of gives him the warning like don't do it. And now look at Arrow Four Zero Four saying you want to jump off. Well, let's let's, dance, let's tangle here, and a and a back body drop again, a second one. And now Nacho's in the ring. And now let's see Irish Whip. Oh, and a big boot to the face right there. Arrow Error Four Zero Four with a big boot one and a kick at it one. Uh-oh. Might be looking for the Y2K virus, and it connects. So Nacho down, but there's Dirty Sanchez to break up the count. Not even a one count. Air 401, very annoyed by that. And look at this now. Going after Dirty Sanchez for the third back body drop now. And a two-pace to a seal misses, and Nacho falls right on top of Dirty, but able to get out of the way as the leg drop came. And... I mean, I don't know. Maybe some sloppy wrestling between this two, between these two right here. But I'll tell you what, Error 404, putting himself in a handicap match, it's unheard of, but trying to show the world that he belongs. Because all his life he's been he's been a called an outcast, called a nerd, you know, excluded from from everything else, and he says that he's fed up, that he belongs as a part of society and now him and Nacho are on the outside and they should have just made this a matchup between Nacho and Air 404 a handicap I mean uh, perhaps a riot rules matchup and now an 8 count a 9 count and Nacho Rodriguez might come up with a big victory here tonight and he does he steals one right here from Air 404 and Air 404 is all upset here tonight so Los Doritos will win this matchup via the countout. And Nacho put a fast one on Air 404 here tonight. Seems like Air 404 miscalculated the situation. And Nacho able to get in the ring. And Shelly counts him out for a 10 count. There's the 9. And he started to get on Gravy and try to run the ring, but he wasn't fast enough. So Nacho and Dirty will win the matchup here tonight to kick off things here in the D-League zone. We'll be right back with more D-League right after this. Los Doritos are your winners here tonight. All right, we're back here in the D-League zone, ladies and gentlemen, ready for action. And, well, here he comes, the Russian gladiator himself. Gang Gruff. Weighing in at 
And this man tonight will have a a tough opponent as Cam Finley will be the guy that he drew tonight to face him one-on-one -on -one here in the D-League zone and having a little bit of issues here with the cameraman trying to get settled. So we apologize for that, ladies and gentlemen, but we try our best to keep things rolling here long and we'll just have to zoom in a little bit, I guess, while we get this uh, camera situation resolved here. And now he is in the ring. Gang grew up here tonight, so get ready now as Cam Finley get gets ready to come out here. And here he comes, Cam Finley, and, and he has himself a new manager known as Theodore Reed. And this guy is the little brother of WFA superstar Joey Reed. And, I mean, they're like night and day, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you that. Joey Reed, just a disgusting individual that likes to eat glizzies, as the young people say, the Lucio glizzy. But Joey Reed's brother, Theodore Reed, is a uh, law graduate from Greenwich, Connecticut. And tonight he is representing Cam Finley. In this matchup tonight, and Cam Finley said that he needed a little bit of guidance, and he said, who else but Theodore Reed, one of the highest uh, in his class as a graduate, as a lawyer from Greenwich, Connecticut. And he got the number from Wes, uh, Wes Douglas, and he kind of got a hold of Joey Reed to, to get a hold of his brother, and now he's here representing him here in, in uh, D-League, so... We'll see how the manager, uh, manager uh, skills of this man, Theodore Reed, favor here tonight as the, as the ring has sounded and the, and the Russian gladiator, Grand Gruff, has taken down this man here tonight. And we'll see if he can continue that momentum as the match continues. Now Gangrove has an early advantage here on Cam Finley. And these two big men are going at it one-on-one -on -one here. Todd is, is back here on the call as well. So uh, until we get ourselves the referee train, which I do believe that at stardom, uh, what I'm hearing from Tiffany is that we do have some referees ready to go. So you will not see this kind of uh, these referees here any longer they'll be stuck on the well not stuck but they will be back to their full-time jobs on the main roster while we train up one of the newbies here in the d-league and we'll see if those contracts uh, we do uh as you know for a long time we had sergio the referee on the wfa programming and then uh his contract expired he went to another promotion and we uh trained up todd and uh shelly so Shelly and Todd have done exceptional jobs here in WFA, not only on the main roster, but here in the D-League zone as well as we have relaunched here. And these two men on the outside just kind of going at it here and now using the barricade as a weapon and a big boot to the face right there from Cam Finley and a seven count now from Todd. So these men have got to get back on the in outs inside as Cam Finley's going to go on the inside. Todd with a nine count now. And look at Cam and will the Russian Gladiator make it back in the ring in time? It does not look like it. And Cam Finley is going to run away with a victory here tonight. So it looks like the manager, the manager skills of one Theodore Reed have paid dividends tonight as Cam Finley decimated this man on the outside and has won this matchup. So Cam Finley wins wins one here tonight via the Canna. Two count of victories here tonight. The first one by Nacho, but he tricked. He tricked Air 404, and Cam just take, took it to the Russian Gladiator. The Russian Gladiator said he want nothing to do with Cam Finley here tonight. So Cam Finley is your winner, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back with more D-League here on YouTube TV. Cam Finley is the man.
we're back on the D-League, ladies and gentlemen, as the human torch known as Inferno makes his way down to the ring. Here he is, all full of hype. The hottest man in all of D-League, ladies and gentlemen. He is the Inferno, and tonight he will go one-on-one -on -one with whoever answers the call here tonight. We don't know who it could be. There's speculation of, of a couple of people, but um, we don't know. We might think that it might be Pete the Body. We don't know as, as uh, well, according to Mike the Wise Guy, I've, I've asked him what's wrong with Pete the Body as you see the fire right there on the in the ring. And Pete the Body's actions have been because he is looking for a better deal. He wanted to be the very first heavyweight champion as he's one of the D-League originals. Tiffany Diaz is in deep conversation with him and says that she has a, a nice opportunity for him coming up, but we'll find out how that goes. And right now, let's see who answers the call right here. Oh my God, don't tell me. Don't tell me. It's the island boy known as Ike Ono. Ike Ono has been missing for the main roster as well. And he makes his debut tonight here in the D-League zone. So... Welcome to D-League, Aikiono. And this man right here is full of excitement. And this should be one hell of a matchup here tonight. As as the uh, man known as the Inferno brings a lot of high-flying uh, moves. And so does this man right here from the Isle, Isle of Samoa. Aikiono, what a treat tonight for the fans here in San Antonio, Texas, inside the D-League zone. So we're going to have Ike Ono take it on in front of one-on-one -on -one here tonight. And then coming up next, you don't want to go nowhere because we do have Hood taking on El Wapo Chuck one-on-one -on -one here tonight in the main event. So a lot of action going on here in the D-League zone tonight. But Ike Ono, the island boy from the main roster, ready to go here tonight. And he'll take on the Inferno one-on-one. -on -one. So high-flying action here in the D-League zone. Only here on YouTube TV, Johnny Baez here with you. Thank you for letting us into your living room or wherever you're watching, whether you're watching live or on the VOD. We appreciate that. And don't forget, tomorrow, Money Heist comes at you live at 1 Eastern. And now Shelly back on the call. And here we go, one-on-one -on -one here. And a big clothesline to the corner from Ike Ono and something that he always does, ladies and gentlemen. And Inferno, perhaps not knowing what Ike Ono brings, to the table, but he's about to find out here tonight. And a nice swinging neck breaker takedown from Ike Ono to the Inferno. And now look at this. Another swinging neck breaker. And Ike Ono just trying to neutralize the high flying Inferno. And oh, he just missed that cross body right there. Oh, and a headbutt right to the yam bags right there. And then a double stomp to the chest. So Inferno now. Bringing the pain to this man right here, Ike Ono. So Pete the Body not here tonight. Oh, and a big knee right there to the head of Inferno. So these two right here might be well mashed. Oh, and another headbutt right to the head of Ike Ono. And he's bleeding, ladies and gentlemen. That's something that's very hard to do to make this man bleed because he has a According to well, my old colleague Hector Hernandez, he has a, a head that's tougher than a coconut. But I mean, I know that a coconut can be smashed and a nice move right there from Mikey. Down goes the Inferno. And this crowd tonight getting all fired up here. And oh, what a move right there from Inferno and a rope break as he tried to go for the cover right there. But Shelly saw that Ike had the ropes all along. And now choking away at the Island Boy, but but he was able to poke the eye of Inferno. And now look at this move. Oh my God, his head just bounced off the middle turnbuckle right there. So what a move right there from Ike Ono, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and he tripped him up right there as he's going for the double stomp once again. And Ike Ono now, perhaps one step ahead of the, of the Inferno here. And uh oh, here comes Ike Ono going for that padded suicide dive right here. He's going. There he goes, two pace suicidal Samoa style. And down goes the Inferno, but the Inferno kicks up out of nowhere. The momentum, the adrenaline inside him, as we all know that he is all, all high octane all the time. We don't know how he gets it. 
or where he gets it from. But this this little man right here known as Inferno, one of the hottest talents here of all of WFA. Now there on the outside, Inferno and Ike. And now back on the inside is the Inferno with Ike. Oh no, look at this move right here. Picking the nose. And then he slaps it almost to say that he's gonna he's gonna take his nose off. And a double knees to the to the solar plexus right there from Inferno. And now the Inferno takes down Ike right there. Looks like he's playing a little bit of possum right there. I don't know what he's doing. And the double knees right there. Excuse me, the double stomp twice right there. That'll adjust your back. And now going for the cover is Inferno. One, two, and almost had him in a two and a half count right there. Inferno thought he might have had him right there. But we both know better than, than that, don't we? Because uh, Ike Ono is no slouch. And it's going to take a lot more than that to keep him down here. And a little bit of momentum right there for Inferno. Might be going for... Oh, Sling Blade right here. And here's a shot to the temple right there. Perhaps some shades of Jay Mills right there. And now going for the Dante's Inferno. And it could inch right there. They may be hit for Ike Yona here tonight, but did not go for the cover. And now, let's see. And look like he might have been going for a second one, but Ike Yono able to counter out of that one. And now looking for the Alabama. Oh, he didn't go for the Alabama Slam. He went for a, a back, uh, back uh, face plant right there. So... Ike Ono being a little tricky right here. And now a nice suplex. And now Ike Ono going to the... Well, I thought he was going to the top row, but he saw Inferno getting back up to his vertical base. So Ike Ono looking for the hang tender, but couldn't hang ten. There's a Russian leg sweep to take down the Inferno. And Inferno goes to the outside. And Inferno over there taunting the fans. Ike Ono says that's enough of that. Come back in the ring now. So Inferno and, and uh, Ike trying to finish things off. And there it is. Oh, and Ike got out of it once again. The Dante's Inferno was coming. And now Ike Ono, nice takedown right there. Now going up to the top, looking to hang 10 perhaps. And if he hits this one, this could be good night, Irene. And he gets the cover. Hook of the leg here. One, two, and a kick out of two and a half. And Ike Ono thought he had him right there with the hang 10. But it wasn't meant to be. Now he's going to go to the top rope again. I don't know if he can hit it twice. And he doesn't as Dante, I mean, excuse me, Inferno moves out of the way now. And look at this now. Could he be looking for the fireball? No, it's a headbutt from the top rope. And down goes Aikiono. And now a hook of the leg to win the matchup. One, two, and not enough as Aiki with a shoulder up at two and a half. And... I, if you give me a headbutt like that, I guarantee you I'm out for the count. And look at this now, biting the hands of Ike Ono. We haven't seen something like that since Crazy Carnage back in the WWFD days. So uh, Inferno, a little bit of everybody here tonight. And now going underneath. Oh, and a big headbutt takedown right there from Ike Ono. Hooking the leg right here to take him down. One, two, and three. And Ike Ono wins with a headbutt. And I think Inferno might be down with a concussion, ladies and gentlemen. Ike Ono making his presence felt here tonight in the V-League zone. And he will walk away with a big-time victory over Inferno here tonight. Very impressive Ike Ono taking it to this man, the Inferno. A tough man to take down, but that headbutt was deadly. And down goes Inferno. One. Two and three, so the island boy of WFA is your winner. We'll be right back with the main event. You're watching D-League on YouTube TV. All right, welcome to the main event here on D-League. And now El Wapo Chuck. Makes his way down the aisle. Looking to take down Hood here tonight. Had an interview with El Wapo Chuck earlier tonight. Before we came out of here. And he said that Hood is nothing but a trend. He says when you have a superstar like me. 
that makes memories, that that has events, has matches that mean something. I am not a trend. He said, I am a classic. He said, I'm not only handsome, I am Wapo. And El Wapo Chuck making his way down to the ring. And he'll take on a fan favorite known as Hood, who has been a journalist for most of his youth. Going up to his uh, adult years now, and he has trained hard with the Iron Man, who, who was who he was his number one fan. And Iron Man did train him at the Ironborn Academy, and he is a graduate of the Ironborn Academy. And tonight we will see Hood in action against this man right here, who arguably could be the very first D League champion here on the reboot. And a lot of people have the odds in his favor. So El Wapo Chuck, a fan favorite to win the the new uh, championship right here in all of WFAD League. And he's in the ring now. We get ready as Hood will make his appearance here in the D League zone. And we get ready now. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, the D-League, the D-League zone is Hood! Here he comes, the man known as Hood, and now everybody else says that they're Hood, but D-League is just so Hood. This man right here, vowing to become the, the first World Heavyweight Champion here in D-League. Starting aspirations as a youth up to this point right here. And he comes out here with this entrance paying homage to the Iron Man. And the Iron Man has told him. He goes, we appreciate the homage that you pay to my legacy. But Hood, you have to build your own legacy. And tonight Hood said this is the final time that you'll see this entrance as he mimics the Hall of Famer, the legend, the one and the only, the Iron Man. But right now, we are good. So come next Saturday at Stardom, we will see a whole new hood coming at you live, new entrance, new everything. But tonight, he will take it to El Wapo Chuck to see if he can take him down for the one, two, and the three here on WFAD League and see if he can be obsolete against the competition. He is undefeated here as a singles competitor. He lost last week against the youthful offenders with Hector Hernandez in his corner. But tonight, he's going to show the world why he belongs in the world of wrestling. And we get ready now as the main event is about to be underway here in San Antonio, Texas. I am Johnny Bias here on the call. Todd is going to be the referee of the main event. We are underway here, and here comes Hood. But El Wapo Chuck able to get out of the way and a big slap, a second slap, and a nice nightmare takedown by El Wapo, also known as Handsome in English. And now let's see Hood now taking his time with El Wapo, trying to get stuff going. Nice uh, neck breaker there by, by Hood. And now a springboard elbow connects right to the, to the nose of, of Chuck. So Chuck goes down. And now let's see what they do here. And a nice German suplex. So Hood taking it to a Wapo Chuck early on in this one. Chuck is one of those guys that you have to be careful with because he is very sneaky, very devious. He will turn the match around quickly. Very resilient is Wapo Chuck. But tonight Hood is in the ring here. And oh, there's a big slap right there from Chuck. And now an in, in oh, I thought it was inverted DDT. It was a couple of shots right here. Oh, and look at that gut neutralizer right there from El Wapo one, and a kick out of one from Hood. So these two men matching up very nicely here. This could very have been a, a pay-per-view matchup, because we don't know who is going to be in the heavyweight championship matchup at uh, Stardom, but we do know this. We do know that uh, Tiffany Diaz has an announcement to make. She doesn't know when she's going to make it, but she is going to make an announcement soon about the World Heavyweight Championship and how that is going to be decided. But she did say that she is going to watch this matchup very closely to figure out who's going to be in that matchup at stardom next Saturday. 
And now a big shot to the head right there from Hood, the knee. So Hood uh, trying to jog through position right here, but El Wapo Chuck now. Look at this. Nice. Nice move right there from El Wapo. And now Hood, very resilient, very uh, crafty right there with the counters and a back body draw, but couldn't get Chuck all the way back. And a couple of. Oh, look at this move right here from Chuck. Oh my God. And he jumped off his left, his right knee. And hit him right in the face with an insiguri. So El Wapo Chuck, very innovative when it comes to his moveset. But you got somebody like Hood who can counter and counter. And a Northern Lex, Northern Light Suplex right there with a bridge. Takedown right there for Hood. So Hood, very traditional style um, in his repertoire. And then you look at El Wapo, and he's a little bit of the Lucha Libre style. And now look at this. The elbows connecting to the face of El Wapo Chuck. And one thing about El Wapo Chuck, he'll get fired up if you hit him right in the face. You see him right there with the frustration. And now look at this. Went for the insecurity, but Hood caught him. And now El Wapo Chuck jumps back up to his vertical base, blocking a couple of haymakers right there from Hood. And Hood with a kick. And now an Irish whip. And now let's see what they're going to do here. Arm drag takedown. Look at this move. And a drop kick off the cartwheel. So Hood getting things fired up here tonight in San Antonio in the D-League zone. And a fan favorite, no doubt. And now going for the hook of the leg right here. One, two, and a kick out at two from, from uh, El Wapo Chuck. So Chuck not down and not out yet. And now Hood with another Irish whip right here. And he throws him to the outside. And now Hood's going to follow to the outside. These two men. And look at the German suplex. And the last thing we want is a count out. We've had two count outs tonight in the D-League zone. Tiffany will address that situation because she is not pleased with the way uh, the matchup between Cam Finley and the, the Russian Gladiator ended up. She's okay with the way the handicap match ended up because she knows that was a, you know, one of those one of those types of matches where, where that is okay. But she wanted a clear-cut winner between the Gladiator and Cam, but it didn't happen. And look at this now. Combination domination right there from Hood. And now we'll see what Hood does. It looks like he's going to go for a neck breaker. And that's exactly what it does. And that one looked like it hurt. So Hood now sizing up Chuck. Chuck might be in trouble right here. And welcome to my neighborhood. And down goes Chuck. Look, hook of the leg. One, two, and a kick out at two and a half. And we all thought that Hood had the victory. El Wapo Chuck trying to get up to his vertical base, but you can tell he's hurting. Uh-oh, Hood sizing him up once again. Oh, but El Wapo Chuck this time able to counter with an elbow. And now Hood with an Irish whip. Nice arm drag takedown. Here comes the cartwheel and a drop kick. And now Hood going up to the top rope. Could be a frog splash. No, he's not going to go for the frog splash. He's going somewhere else with it. Oh, and a big clothesline right there. And now Hood trying to pick up El Wapo Chuck right here. Looks like a fisherman suplex with a bridge, but he drops him. And now Hood back up to his vertical base with El Wapo. And now, welcome to my Hood. And down goes El Wapo Chuck. This has to be it. One, two, and Hood. We'll, we'll win this matchup. And Hood showing why he belongs here tonight. Taking down El Wapo Chuck, who was undefeated here in the D-League. And Hood could very well be on his way to become the new World Heavyweight Champion next week on Stardom, ladies and gentlemen. For Johnny Baez, we say goodnight here from the D-League zone. Hood is your winner here tonight. Wait a minute. I I know that music anywhere. And that is none other than MJ Gunner. And and he is holding the D League World Heavyweight Championship, ladies and gentlemen. I, I don't understand what's going on. I just got word from Tiffany Diaz that MJ Gunner is here to deliver the D-League Championship back to the D-League and according to what 
Tiffany is telling me over the headset is that when MJ Gunner defeated Angelo in the D in for the Dynasty rights, that the D League Championship came along with it. So technically, MJ Gunner is the D League Champion, but he's here to to give it up to the D League roster, and 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 I I guess we'll see what. What Hood has to say here is MJ Gunner is in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. And now Gunner is here with the D League Championship, and he's handing it to Hood almost as good luck. And oh no, watch out, Hood! From behind, MJ Gunner knocking down Hood. He is not the champion, but he he delivered the D League Championship here to the D League zone, and Gunner. Picking up the championship, looking at it, and he is a tagged hood who just won the matchup against El Wapo Chuck. Uh, I don't know what to think, Lane Gentlemen. I know this, we're out of time. We'll see you next week for stardom. Good night. <laughs>